Now, Terra Luna Classic continues to show massive strength despite the sell-off in crypto earlier today. Guys, Terra Luna Classic is still sitting around 38, 39, 40,000 points per coin as Bitcoin fell from 20,000 to 19.5 to 8 to, to 19 to 18, almost six. It's crazy to watch Bitcoin sell off. But Terra Luna Classic continue higher. And that shows the strength of the community right now. And it shows the strength of, I guess, the presence and the excitement surrounding Terra Luna Classic. But there is a very large update that we need to go over regarding the burn tax. If you guys haven't seen it yet, we're going to talk about it in this video. And listen, I'm not going to make you wait. It has to do with the date, okay? The date for the burn tax could be changed. And I want to discuss that and talk about a little bit about why and, and what. What date it could be changed to so if it sounds like something you're interested in let's get started what's up everybody i'm clay i'm here to make 2022 the best year ever if you haven't clicked that subscribe button make sure to subscribe to the channel join us become a bro we are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together if you're brand new to investing you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto you got a link in the description below for weeble it is super simple to set up your account any deposit you guys are going to get six to twelve free stocks one dollar crypto trade you're walking away with five dollars in free crypto and then if you guys want a crypto exclusive exchange where you can get terra luna classic they might be out of margin trading right now not exactly sure i've seen some uh some, seen some stuff where they're out but you know that can come back on in a moment's notice so you get KuCoin down in the description. If you want to buy a Terra Luna Classic, go on out to, to, to KuCoin. They've got a crazy reward system. The more active you are on their platform, the more rewards you're going to earn. So make sure to check that out, especially if you're an active trader. But guys, <clears throat> we got a lot to go over. Okay, We're going to save the, the Lunk hype and the price action and talk a little bit about that here towards the end. But I do just want to get it out for everybody that's watching this video and wants to see what's going on with the burn date. The 1.2% burn tax is potentially going to take place now on September 20th, not September 12th. So we've got one extra week to wait. You might be saying, whoa, 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 why? What's going on? <clears throat> so some of the developers in the Discord have been going back and forth and saying that some of the applications may not be ready for implementation on the 12th. And, and therefore, once everything is approved, everything is set, the, the date would be September uh, 20th. They're going to be doing something or having some sort of a, I, I don't know if vote's necessarily the right term, but they're looking at something on September 10th. And as long as everything, I guess, passes or, or makes it through the checks or I, like, that's the thing, guys, I'm very, very sorry. I, I can talk about this stuff all day, but when it comes to coding and programming and actually developing, I, I don't have that skill. I've never been a programmer or anything like that. So if anybody does know, like if you guys are programmers, let us know in the comments below a little bit more detail about what's going on with, with the development side of things and, and the coding side of things <clears throat> when it comes to this 1.2% burn tax. But nonetheless, I mean, I can relay information that the developers are, are talking about out there. And as long as everything is good to go, on September 10th, the epoch or the block, the, the block height, the, the burn tax is set to be implemented now and supposedly set in stone is going to be September 20th. Now, we knew that the September 12th date was or should have been the, the date that the burn taxes take place. And, and everything, listen, everything on the internet is tentative, okay? Just because Terra Luna Classic is going up in price right now does not mean it's going to go up tomorrow. Just because it's going down in price does not mean that it's going to continue going down. And just because somebody says something somewhere does not make it true. So what we're seeing is a group of people work on rebuilding the Terra Luna Classic blockchain. Of course, we will run into hurdles. Of course, we will run into problems. Of course, there will be obstacles in our way that we have to get over. And that is all we are seeing at the moment. So if it turns out, that September 20th is the date. If it turns out that they are not able to get this bad boy implemented and the Terra Luna Classic burn tax going by September 12th, we've only got to wait one week. It's not like we're going to sit there and, and wait much longer. Guys, it might be tough. 
especially in the grand scheme of things, but it's going to give people an extra week to buy without being taxed and therefore loading up on what they want to hold, especially for the long term of Terra Luna Classic and grow those bags a little bit so that you can experience some more, I guess, dollars, dollar wise, more gains, not necessarily percent wise, but more gains as Terra Luna Classic rises in price. And if you're concerned at all, don't be. Look, the numbers that we've been doing right now, especially when it comes to volume, if we have to wait an extra week, but during that extra week, we maintain $1 billion, $2 billion, $3 billion, $4 billion a day worth of trades, we're going to be seeing roughly $100 billion, or $100 billion, not dollars, $100 billion Terra Luna Classic being burnt on a daily basis at those volume numbers. And I wanna give you guys a little reference here. During the live stream, if you guys missed the live stream, you need to make sure to check that out one time. But we have a lot of fun in there and we go over a lot of stuff. <clears throat> During the live stream today, we were going back and, and we were, I guess, looking at the history of, of Shiba Inu coin. And Shiba Inu coin was another coin that uh, basically fell out of nowhere and, and had a worthless kind of connotation to it. $15 a day were being traded on some of the days. 50 cents a day being traded on some of the days for, for Shiba Inu coin. And of course, some days, nothing was being traded. And then the community picked it up, ran with it, and it is where it is today. So to give you guys an idea of what type of volume we can see for Terra Luna Classic, if you go back to the peak, when Shiba Inu coin was running up to its all-time high, 39, I believe, 0.8 billion dollars were traded on that day. Now, if you think about that, that's 10x the highest volume we have seen on Terra Luna Classic. And at the current prices, if we were to 10x the volume, think about that, 100 billion coins, 100 billion Terra Luna Classic being burnt at the 3 to $4 billion range. If Terra Luna Classic ever reached the same heights in volume that Shiba Inu coin did, we would be burning one trillion coins at the current price. Guys, if we reduce the price, if the price falls, if the price falls by half, I know that's a steep decline, but remember, we're still going to be three, four X higher than where we were a week ago. If the price fell by half, we would burn two trillion coins based on that 1.2 percent burn tax in a single day guys if the price goes back down to where it was uh, two three four five weeks ago when it was trading around five six thousand points per coin i mean we would basically burn the entire supply in a single day with those type of taxes so don't be discouraged if we have to wait an extra week. Don't be distraught. Don't be upset. Don't let it deter you from believing in the future of Terra Luna Classic. These numbers are crazy. And if we see what Shiba Inu coin did, especially when it comes to volume, imagine what Terra Luna Classic can do if it just reaches those same levels. I want to know what you guys think. Down in the comments below, let me know Let me know the highest volume you expect to see on Terra Luna Classic. Let me know down there. And of course, if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. You're getting six free stocks on Weeble, almost, 12 free stocks if you're lucky, six free stocks if you're not, $5 in free crypto. And you guys got KuCoin. If you want to buy a Terra Classic, you got KuCoin in the description, free Discord as well. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.